Chapter 2 Here is the list of the Jewish exiles of the provinces who returned from their captivity to Jerusalem and to the other towns of Judah. They had been deported to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. Their leaders were Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Seraiah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvai, Rehum, and Beana. This is the number of the men of Israel who returned from exile, the family of Parush, 2,172, the family of Shephatiah, 372, the family of Era, 775, the family of Pehath Moab, descendants of Jeshua and Job, 2,812, the family of Elam, 1,254, the family of Zatu, 945, the family of Zekai, 760, the family of Benai, 642, the family of Bibai, 623, the family of Azgad, 1222, the family of Adonikam, 666, the family of Bigvai, 2056, the family of Aden, 454, the family of Ater, descendants of Hezekiah, 98, the family of Bizai, 323, the family of Jorah, 112, the family of Hashum, 223, the family of Gibar, 95, the people of Bethlehem, 123, the people of Netopha, 56, the people of Anathoth, 128, the people of Beth Azmaveth, 42, the peoples of Kiriath Jirim, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743, the peoples of Ramah and Giba, 621, the people of Mikmash, 122, the peoples of Bethel and Ai, 223, the citizens of Nebo, 52. The citizens of Magbish, 156. The citizens of Elam, 1254. The citizens of Harim, 320. The citizens of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The citizens of Jericho, 345. The citizens of Sena, 3630. These are the priests who returned from exile, the family of Jediah, through the line of Jeshua, 973. The family of Emer, 1,052. The family of Pashur, 1,247. The family of Harim, 1,017. These are the Levites who returned from exile, the families of Jeshua and Kadmiel, descendants of Hodaviah, 74. The singers of the family of Asaph, 128. The gatekeepers of the families of Shalom, Eter, Talmum, Akub, Hattaita, and Shobai, 139. The descendants of the following temple servants returned from exile, Zaicha, Hashufa, Tabeoth, Kiros, Sayacha, Pedon, Lebana, Hegaba, Akub, Hegab, Shalmai, Henan, Gidel, Kehar, Reaiah, Rezin, Nikoda, Gazam, Uza, Pasea, Besai, Azna, Meonim, Nefuzim, Bakbuk, Hakufa, Harhur, Basluth, Mehida, Harsha, Barkos, Sisera, Tima, Nizaya, and Hatifa. The descendants of these servants of King Solomon returned from exile, Sotai, Sophereth, Paruda, Jaela, Darkon, Gidel, Shephatiah, Hatil, Pokereth, Hazabaim, and Amai. In all the temple servants and the descendants of Solomon's servants numbered 392. Another group returned to Jerusalem at this time from the towns of Tel Mila, Tel Harsha, Kerub, Edan, and Emir. However, they could not prove that they or their families were descendants of Israel. This group consisted of the families of Deleiah, Tobiah, and Nekoda, a total of 652 people. Three families of priests, Hobeiah, Hekoz, and Barzillai, also returned to Jerusalem. This Barzillai had married a woman who was a descendant of Barzillai of Gilead, and he had taken her family name. But they had lost their genealogical records, so they were not allowed to serve as priests. The governor would not even let them eat the priest's share of food from the sacrifices until there was a priest who could consult the Lord about the matter by means of sacred lots. So a total of 42,360 people returned to Judah. 
In addition to 7,337 servants and 200 singers, both men and women, they took with them 736 horses, 245 mules, 435 camels, and 6,720 donkeys. When they arrived at the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, some of the family leaders gave generously toward the rebuilding of God's temple on its original site, and each leader gave as much as he could. The total of their gifts came to 61,000 gold coins, 6,250 pounds of silver, and 100 robes for the priests. So the priests, the Levites, the singers, the gatekeepers, the temple servants, and some of the common people settled in villages near Jerusalem. The rest of the people returned to the other towns of Judah from which they had come.